from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. <laughs> you sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you start. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Sorry for prying. Not bad. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. No oh, problem. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. 
Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. Hmm. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus. Through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Very interesting. Endless conversation. See here. Let's see if she wants to talk to me now. Wanna talk now? Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Stay out of my uh, quarters. Oh, wow. Is this Normandy actually that much bigger? Or is that the old one? I can't tell. I don't know. From John Woodson. Oh. Cerberus Command. <laughs> on Zorik. A nearby planet in the far, farther system? Our base. I didn't leave it. Hold you up. Okay. I'll look into it. Fish tank. Feed fish. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Pretty sure I haven't, because I'm pretty sure I read it. Yep, I have already read it. So, ha ha. I don't think I picked up anything new, really. Garrus, what do you have? Whoa. 
That thing is amazing. I love it. <laughs> Thank it, I don't have an EXO. Apparently not. Joker! What is up? Are we traveling at light speed? FDL? What? What's happening? It's blue. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. Hey. Don't talk shit about Garrus. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. <laughs> Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. <laughs> well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, I'll remember this. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Oh, uh, that was funny. That was funny. Let's see. Oh yeah, I want to dock here again. I'm going to take that data pad to the one chick. That way maybe she won't hate me as much. That's really... Ooh, star cluster. Garrus. Sure. Add. Add. Oh, they'll love me. I'm just I'm just gonna be walking around with the Archangel. Garris, oh my, you got so much. Not really. Not so much. About the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Oops. Okay. Our Normandy's just kind of hanging there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh, annoyed. You guys still waiting? <laughs> Give me another drink, love. Mark isn't there no more. <laughs> Arya has work for it. Are you interested? Always. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. 
Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Yep. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Oh. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal How do I get to him? If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine okay. zone. No Thanks guarantee. for the information. Yes. Just try not to... <laughs> Garrus, you look awesome. Arya has work for him. Wait, what? Grizz. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Tell Arya I'm not interested in running her errands for her. How disappointing. The job stands if you come to your senses. Sounds kind of silly to me. What's down here? Anything? The new universe yawns wide. Will you be the one to fill it? Data manufacturing has opened offices all over the Santa Marcos and beyond. Okay. Ah. Don't act like you know. Just plan? No. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? What do you know about Arya? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Huh. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. 
I should be going. He sounds pretty bitter. <laughs> of course, I don't blame him. Okay. How the hell do I get out of here? Two years since the destruction Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying, the strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did really to make it. Sure defense responsibility to the Turian Guards. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Leave, human. Tell Captain Gabor we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gabor. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thugs get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Those things are weird. Let's go to the pointing zone. Let's find out what's over here first. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. <laughs> get lost. Ah. <laughs> uh... A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Huh. I was gonna let him stay, but if he's gonna go, then okay. Watch this end up killing him. Oh god, that would suck. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Thank you. I never really used you. drawn already? Seems a bit... I don't know. Refined element zero. Hmm.
Damn it. Why didn't I freaking check on my weapon? I have to make sure I do. Because I don't want this thing. I mean, it's not. I don't know. I'll try it out again. Don't shoot. They're cleared to come in. Good luck in there. The blue suns and vorture shooting anything that moves. Oh boy. Now you see me. We've got company. Oh, <laughs> oh that was awesome. That was awesome. Get over here! Nice. I've seen a lot of bad before. This is worse. Way worse. Must think burning the corpses will keep the plague from spreading. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <coughs> I hope the Vorture burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <coughs> I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Uh, oh, you... you help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said... What have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Fortune are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it. But all the evidence points to your species. Makes sense, and trust me, I know humans are assholes. <laughs> I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. Good lord. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> when I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <laughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. Okay. I'll try to find him as quickly as possible. Green, green, 
green. Oops, shit. Crap. Didn't know that would happen. Guess that's the first time I've failed one. Not too bad, considering. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. That would suck. What? Oh. Bastard sees us in this room. Except we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. That sucks. Don't worry, I'll be back. Not mercenaries, these were just random gangs of thugs. They give Merc actual marks a bad name. Cloaking. We've got company. Watch out! Awesome. That was amazing. <laughs> Alright. Gravity's one mean mother, huh?
Very nice. I love that Shadow Strike. It's amazing.